On a windy and snowy night, a flight attendant disappeared mystery. A husband who acts erratically was a serious suspect. The police suspect she's been murdered by her cheating husband. But the police didn't find the crime scene. No weapon was found. No dead body was found. Even if there were no eyewitnesses to the crime, the investigation is in a deadlock. The police brought in Dr. Henry Lee. We're to almost 8,000 major cases. This is a case I always remember. Let's get into it. There's a small town in Connecticut. One of them was a family named Crafts. Mr. Richard is a pilot for Eastern Airlines and the town's cop. Mrs. Hell from Denmark is a flight attendant for Pan Am Airlines. They've been married for years and have three children. They travel a lot due to the type of work they do. They've they hired a nanny to take care of the kids. On October 30, 1986, Hell was absent from work for more than 10 days and did not request a lift. The colleague realized Hell hadn't come to work. They call Richard to find out about Hell's situation. Richard tells that Hell's mom is sick. Heller has returned to Denmark to see her. But a few days later Hell still hadn't gone to work or taken any lift. Hell would never do that. They called Hell's mother directly in Denmark. It was found that she wasn't sick at all. Heller isn't in Denmark. Richard lied. Hell's missing. Everyone began to suspect that Richard was most likely involved in Hell's disappearance. Colleagues immediately reported the case to the police and contacted the local media. The police called Richard in for questioning him where his wife, Hell, had gone. Why lie to others? Richard's explained to the police. 18th of October. Hell returned home in the evening, just in time for dinner with his husband and children. That night he quarreled with his wife. Tell him to stop looking around for an Ather boyfriend. He said he suspected Hell was cheating. Because Hell had called many times to California while he was away on business. In the evening, a rare snowstorm causes a massive power outage in the area. The next morning, Richard woke up and found his wife had gone to work. Because the power's out and there's no heater. He afraid the children get cold. He wanna send the children to his sister's house. Richard woke up Nanny Dawn. Tell her to take the three kids with her to Richard's sister's house for a while. After dropping the nanny and the kids off at his sister's house, Richard returned home to check the circuitry. And took the children back that night after the town circuits were restored. Helen has not been seen since. He thought Helen had eloped to California. He didn't want anyone around him to know. His wife irresponsibly left him and his three children and ran away. The police immediately investigated the phone number Hell called to California. They found out that this friend from California met Hell on a flight. But just being a regular friend and he didn't know where Helen was going. The chances of Hell eloping to California were almost zero. But a socially experienced flight attendant who had traveled the world, how did she suddenly disappear without a trace? Hell's colleague said three months ago, Hell consulted a lawyer. Because she found out Richard was cheating on her. She wants a divorce from Richard and custody of her three children. On the advice of her lawyer, Heller calls a private detective, Keith Mayo. Trying to find evidence of Richard's cheating. After seeing photos of Richard cheating with another flight attendant, taken by Kiev. She decides to divorce but Richard doesn't want to sign. Helen told her colleague if something happens to me, don't think it was an accident. Richard did it. Police asked the nanny about the situation. Nanny said, that night she heard a heavy object hit the ground. Then there was no more noise so she went back to sleep. Richard woke her up at 5.30 in the morning. Richard drove everyone to her sister's house. The nanny noticed a large red stain on the bedroom carpet when they left the house that day. Richard said he would pick them up the next day at 4 p.m. but the next day he was five hours late. When they returned home, the nanny noticed that the carpet in the bedroom and hallway was gone. The furniture had been moved around. The nanny, who was still under 20, found Richard very mysterious and unusual. He then resigned and went back home. The police found Richard very abnormal. But Richard denies any relation with Hell missing. Police decided to take a polygraph test on Richard. The test results are normal. And it passed the test three times. Police still believe Richard was a serious suspect in the crime. But it's been almost a month since Hell disappeared. The police have no idea what to do with the case. The police didn't find the crime scene. No weapon was found. No dead body was found. Even if there were no eyewitnesses to the crime. The police were thinking to find some expert, Dr. Henry Lee. Dr. Lee, after understanding the details of the case, he decided to search Richard's house first. Christmas Day, 25th of December. A month after Hell's disappearance, Richard took his child to Florida for Christmas. Henry Lee applied to for a search warrant, 
and conducted a full search of Richard's home on Christmas Day. When he entered, Dr. Lee found the scene being treated. The carpets are missing from the bedrooms and hallway. The nanny said the sound of heavy objects hitting the floor came from the bedroom. There should be blood in the bedroom. But the carpet in the bedroom had gone. Henry Lee can only investigate around the rest of the bedroom furniture. He found five small spots of blood on the outside of the bedroom mattress. Look closely with a magnifying glass to identify it. This blood doesn't look like menstrual blood. Judging by the shape, it's a spatter pattern of blood. After collecting these five spots of blood, they run through a chemical reagent test. They found a blood stain that had been washed away. The blood type analysis was O, oh, fresh blood. The same blood type as hell. Henry Lee continually deducing the location of the blood tracks at bedside. Depending on the shape and angle of the blood stain, speculating the most possible is that Hell was attacked, when she kneed beside the bed. Blood was spurting from Hell's head when the suspect attacked. There were five dots sprayed on the side of the bed. At the same time the victim fell to the ground with a blood trail from his head touching the mattress. Henry Lee then conducted a blood test on Richard's clothing, bed sheets and towels. The test resulted in a chemical reaction between all five towels in the bathroom. Showing that these bath towels were stained with blood before. Henry Lee deduced that there was a fight in the bedroom with only this five spots of blood. Something bad could happen to hell. Richard's most likely involved. But where did the body go? Based on the laws of the American judicial system. In the absence of an identifiable body, a murder case cannot be committed. In order to solve the case, the police must find the body. Henry Lee's team searched his backyard. There's no sign of any digging. There use radar that penetrates the ground to detect if the ground has ever been turned over and excavated. Result with no clue. There send helicopter overhead with infrared to detect the decomposition process of a body. The heat emitted could be used to determine if there's a body under the ground. There's also no clue. With nothing to go on, Henry Lee changes his mind and decides to look for witnesses. He questioned everyone who drove nearby Richard's house. A snowplow driver stated that, at about 3.30 a.m. on 19th, he was busy shoveling snow off the roads. He meet a small truck. There's a wood chipper being towed behind the truck. As the snowplows blocked the road, the driver of the truck was very angry and told him to get out of the way. The snowplow driver said he felt strange at the time. Because the snow is so strong, and it's the Thanksgiving holiday. There are no cars on the road in the early morning hours. Why would this man be towing a wood chipper on the road? The police took Richard's picture and asked him to identify it. That's him? And he gave me an angry stare. I could never be mistaken. The driver was sure of it. The police asked which direction the man was driving in at the time. Looks like it's heading west on River Road. If go west on the River Road, there's a diversion to Lake Zoar. It's a beautiful and great place for a vacation. Henry Lee wondered. Could it be using a wood chipper to exterminate bodies? Henry Lee changed the focus of the investigation to Lake Zoar. Focusing on the wood chipper. Wood chipper's machine are not commonly used. They quickly found the wood chipper rental company to investigate. The manager of this company said, Richard did come here and rent a wood chipper. It was about a week or more. It was very clean when it returned. Usually when the machine is returned, it's dirty because of the wood chips. But this wood chipper looks clean. It looks like it had been cleaned with steam. Henry Lee inspects this wood chipper but there's no evidence or leads to be found. The truck Richard used to carry the wood chipper was also found. But there's no sign of blood or anything in the truck. Henry Lee turns back to Lake Zoar. Henry Lee knew that the key of hell's disappearance must on the shores of the lake. He put a frozen pig in the wood chipper and ran experiments on it. It was found that the wood chipper discharging debris will probably drop out to a distance of 4 meters. If Richard wanted the bodies to be thrown into the lake, Richard must find an area that is wide enough to park trucks and wood chippers. Also within 4 meters of the lake. And there should be no trees or other obstacles in between. Based on these conditions, Henry Lee's team identified 8 possible places to park the wood chipper in Lake Zoar. Since it was the middle of winter, police need to melt snow and remove debris from the ground, then only there could gather the clues. After 3 weeks of hundreds of people being deployed, finally, there found something in the third investigate place. The first thing found was a tooth. With a small piece of jawbone stuck on it. It proves that the tooth didn't fall out on its own. Rather, it was broken or crushed by an external force. This is a tooth that has had multiple restorations. Compare this tooth with an x-ray of hell at the dentist. Confirm that this tooth is hell's tooth. It is very likely that this is the place Richard exterminate bodies. 
Frogmen were searched in the water here. They found another toe, and half a finger. More and more fragments of human tissue are being identified. Dr. Lee's suspicions were confirmed. The police found 2,660 human hairs, 69 pieces of broken bone, two teeth, a small piece of skull, one finger and one toe each. Police also found a chainsaw in the lake. Some of the human tissue was found on the chainsaw. And fibers with the same color as Hell's pajamas. Although the serial number on the chainsaw has been polished away. Henry Lee uses laser electrolysis method. The serial number was successfully restored. E5921616. And found its manufacturer by that number. They found a credit card bill that Richard used to buy the chainsaw. It was determined that this chainsaw was purchased by Richard. Tiny hairs, muscle skin tissue were also found on the chainsaw. Compare the hairs in the chainsaw to the 2,666 hairs in the lake, with the hairs on the commode at Hell's home. Confirmed it is the same person hairs. Henry Lee run a chemical analysis and compare the pink nail polish on nails. It matched the nail polish on Helen's commode. Some envelope pieces were also found at the scene. The words Hell and Kraft are visible. It was most likely an envelope in pajama's pocket. They went into the wood chipper with the body but were not completely grinded up. Some women's underwear-like fibers were found. It was also confirmed to belong to Hell. Since then a large amount of fragmentary evidence has formed a tight chain of evidence. Let's rearrange them. First, Richard reported that Hell disappeared for no reason and never appeared again. After a visit to Hell's friends lawyer and private detective, found that Hell is planning to divorce Richard. Richard has had quarrel and fights with his wife. Richard lied about Hell's goings-on. From this we can be concluded that Richard has a motive to commit the crime. Hell may have been killed. The clueless police asked Henry Lee to assist in the investigation. Hell's blood pattern was found in the bedroom with a spatter pattern matching Helen's. It can be deduced that Hell was killed by a strike to her head in the bedroom of Hess house. Also the nanny testified that Richard was the last person who saw Hell. Richard would have the time and place to commit the crime. After an investigation, it was discovered that Richard was able to pass the polygraph test, because Richard worked for the CIA before. He had intelligence training to protect national secrets. Making a lie into a truth was too easy for him. The case is deadlocked because Hell's body can't be found. But Henry Lee found Richard ran a wood chipper, with no reasonable explanation. Police found hair, finger bones and wood chips at the lake. These human remains match Hell's. A chainsaw was also found in the lake. There's hair and human tissue that matches Hell's. The chainsaw serial number matched Richard's receipt. Richard saw and passed the body through a wood chipper. All the evidence pointed to Richard Kraft as Hell's killer. The court finally convicted Richard for murder and sentenced him to 50 years in prison. This case also made Henry Lee famous in the U.S. judicial system. He's become one of the leading crime-solving experts in America. Henry Lee used many scientific methods to discover the murderer through small pieces of evidence. Brings forensic science to the forefront of people for the first time. It provides a global model for the police community to use science and technology to solve cases. See you next week. In the Crime Investigator.